Hi there, my name is Petter Dessner and I work as a lecturer at University of Borås in Sweden. Uh, this is a short video on how to make uh, some interesting stuff in um, Xenai 2D, the game engine. Uh, let's run the game I have uh, here in front of me. Um, if I press play, uh, a lot of flowers are coming down here and I can pick the flowers. All right. Um, <clears throat> but I got a question from my students about uh, how to um, how to make things look like they are uh, uh, in a 3D environment coming from a, a point here in a distance and then and then uh, growing as a as a uh, are supposedly going much nearer the object uh, and that's what I'm going to show right now. So I created um, two variations of this. Let's look at those. This first method uh, uses all or looks for all um, objects beginning with, with a name, like flower in this case, so flower 1, flower 2, etc. Um, and if the body starts with that name, it becomes 1% uh, bigger for each, uh, each run through the game loop. And 1% doesn't sound like much, but the effect is really staggering, so look at this. Here we go. And they continue to grow un until they hit the player. So it's uh, kind of cool. Kind of cool, really. Very, very interesting. Uh, and if I move the player towards the middle, uh, the flowers will not get as big because they will um, collide with the player a lot faster. So now you can see the yellow flower grow there. Very cool, I think. Um, of course, if I would have set this to something else, 2%, they would become bigger faster. So the process goes quicker. But uh, this is not really exponential growth. This is more uh, linear growth. Um, so let's change this. So what am I really looking for? Well, uh, that doesn't really do what I'm after. I want them to be uh, bigger exponentially. So first it looks like there is nothing and there is nothing and then there, whoa! something goes very very quickly um, and uh, that is a bit more cumbersome but here's the method I created for that um, in this case I sent in the starting and ending Y points uh, so uh, to create to, to check for the distance for this uh, flower in this case uh, the total distance and at the end of the total distance uh, it should be 100% width and height so if it's supposed to be 100 pixels in width and 100 pixels in height that is what it will be at the at the end of this um, of the total distance and here's the code so first I just check how far of this total distance has been passed um, in relation to the starting and ending points. Uh, then once again I check for the name if it's a flower in this case. And um, I get the distance and then I have a fraction which is just uh, one thing divided by the other. And finally 
here comes a trick. The width of the object is its original width, which is a new property I've created, times um, the distance it has been, uh, sorry, uh, the fraction to the power of 3 in this case. It could be power to, to 2 or 4 or so. And the higher the number, if I say uh, um, to the power of 4 or power of 5, the greater this effect will be. I can also set it 2 there and, and 3 down here to make uh, the objects look very strange, uh, really. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, it's rather interesting. Even though it won't look quite as fun as it did last time. Here it becomes bigger. And note what, what happens when they are colliding here. You see that they, that they um, become smaller and bigger and sm smaller and bigger for each jump. Uh, so it's rather fun, I think. And if this distance value would have been smaller, uh, the total distance, and in this case I think it's 400 pixels or so, if it would have been much smaller, then you would get this 3D feeling that I'm, that you would be after. Also note that uh, this could also be to, I mean, if it, uh, you could randomize, so some objects go down, some go up, etc which would work well for a game taking place in hyperspace and uh, then um, if you have a spaceship it could also be shooting uh, towards all these uh, objects and, and uh, you would have a real interesting and, and fun uh, hyperspace game. Uh, very cool I think. Um, you would need to have this original width, original height values I just uh, created them as um, uh, as properties in in the body. I also set these uh, when creating a body so that these are remembered here. Uh, because otherwise I would uh, I cannot really reset the width at all times because I, I would need the original width so I know what. The result should look like when when they hit the bottom in this case uh, when they have passed the total distance. That's the total distance. So that's how I did that. And um, as I said, I could have changed this to another other number to make this value more or less uh, pronounced. Okay. I could also send it in here, of course. So, happy hacking and uh, have fun.